Hi everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantec Markets for Thursday the 27th of February. Um, as I said earlier, this uh, the euro has come under significant pressure in the past 24 hours. That has um, significantly changed the outlook actually on this euro dollar chart. Now the euro is, um, is in corrective mode once more. You've had... Um, I mean, the euro had been trading in this tight band between 137 and uh, 137.75, and that's decisively now broken. Um, you've got what um, I would say is a corrective outlook on this chart now. Um, the momentum indicators are all turning lower, and uh, not only that, you're now back under that 36.85 key low. Um, which does suggest, I think, that uh, there's downside pressure on this chart. That was a, a key band of support um, in this chart um, back historically, and uh, and that sort of you could argue that completes a top pattern um, that actually gives us an implied target back towards one dollar thirty six sort of area. But that um, the next key sort of support area, I think, is thirty five sixty. So that's uh, an interesting level to keep in mind. But I think at the moment. Having having broken below that uh, yesterday, this 200-hour moving average um, had consistently been the base of support throughout the um, the push higher. Now these moving averages are all turning lower. That 200-hour moving average is also turning lower. Early trade this morning has also seen euro back under pressure again, uh, which would suggest that this pullback rally back towards the neckline around 36.85 is just that, um, uh, just a pullback into resistance. And um, the pressure is now increasing to the downside. Um, with these moving averages uh, rolling over, you've got a series of death crosses as well. So just be careful of that. That um, suggests certainly a, a corrective outlook. And I think, to be honest, I'm now going to use any sort of rallies uh, towards that 36.85 as a chance to sell this euro chart because I think... Um, I think that, as I said, the pressure is increasingly to the downside, and uh, certainly if I get a, a jump into uh, in towards, let me zoom in slightly here, in towards the uh, the resistance of um, the overnight low, maybe around 36.70, 36.75, anything in towards that resistance band, I think is a, a decent area to sell this chart. Now, I think you've got an awful lot of um, you've got an awful lot of um, uh, overhead supply as well now uh, from these kilos 3701 3707 and 3714 um they um they are now the overhead supply of this chart and um that would suggest that anyone buying into those levels on the way up could now use any sort of rally um as a chance to uh, close out positions um and uh, that that suggests that the supply will be there in this um, in any sort of rally, uh, and that could hamper any sort of recovery that this euro chart may think about having. So I'm uh, going to be using any sort of bounce today as a chance to sell. Um, and uh, that's my outlook for the euro. So I wish you good luck with your trading today, and uh, I will speak to you tomorrow.